She's burning up. The uh, knife must have nicked her kidney or something. She's turning sick. Mm. How you doing, mm. little sister? So stupid. It's this little, this little kid. This, this goddamn little kid. Big goddamn knife. Hey, help me. Mm. Oh, oh, shit. Mm. Hey, Mom. You want to be able to come through? We gotta get to the roof. Flag down one of those choppers. All right. Wait, we need help. She's been wounded. Well, what's wrong with her? Well, she's not. Whatever the hell's going on out there, she's been stabbed. I can't take anymore. Oh, okay, listen, O'Brien. If we don't get her to a hospital, she's going to die. There are no more hospitals. <laughs> oh, come on, no more hospitals. You got uh, doctors, you got triage, you got a mass unit. Oh, look, I'm just a grad student, okay? I, I got volunteered for this. I'm not even supposed to be out here, okay? Brian. Okay. Uh, I've only got room for two of you, okay? Two. We only got room for two of you. We're overweight, okay? I can only take two of you, two. <laughs> come on, help me, come on. Come on, sweetheart. It's okay. You're gonna be all right. I got her. You're gonna be right back. Okay, Boozer, let's go. We gotta hold get on, on that. Hold on. We gotta get on that chopper. I heard what he said. There's only room for two on that chopper. Go. Go with her. I'll be okay. Look, I've been through worse shit than this before. You know? Yeah, we have. <laughs> Where? Where? Refugee camp, west of Three Finger Jack. No. Boozer is never gonna make it without me. I want this back. You coming? Him. He can't be far. Wait, hold on. Cut your engine. <coughs> oh, shit, she's alive. Alvarez. Alvarez, hey. Alvarez, what happened here? I mean, who did this? Was it... Was it Rippers?
Cover me, right behind you. I was wrong about him having to deal with Copeland. No, Leon's been fencing shit to Copeland for a long time. Finally caught up with him. Hey, hey, wait, wait. Hold up, hold up. Shit. All right, let me see. Wait, 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 here. Down this way. Tracks are fresh. Where the hell did you learn to track shit, anyway? Used to go elk hunting with my old man when I was a kid. Ended up tracking shit for miles. You okay, brother? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just a graze. Son of a bitch can't aim worth a damn. Son of a bitch. I'm fine, Boozer. He must be heading down there toward the falls. He's losing a lot of blood. He's not getting far. Come on. Search him. <laughs> Bleeding out. Well, that's a hell of a way to go. It's slow. A lot of pain, but I suppose you'd know all about that. She was right still enough. breathing when we found her, you piece of shit. I wasn't gonna waste the pull it not on her. Oh, hold on for a second. Hold on for a second now. Where's the stash, Leon? If you tell us, well, unlike you, I can promise you we'll make it quick. Don't look like you'd be suffering for too long. Leon, you got a little problem here. See, they can smell your blood. From all the way down there, what do you suppose that feels like? Huh? Torn apart? Eat alive? Guess he's gonna find out. Fuck you. Goodbye, Leon. No, wait! All right, all right, no, no. I got it right. Here, take it. Where? In the cemetery. It's in the old cemetery. Thank you. No, you said! Do it. Don't leave me out here, man. Do it. Do it! You goddamn liar! Do it. Tuck's gonna need something for the bounty. You did the right thing, bro. You don't want to leave anyone to the freaks. Not even a piece of shit like Leon. Hey, hold up. I want to search this camp, see if I can't find something to fix up this scratch.
just gotta put them together and yes. There, yeah, that ought to do it. Guess I won't be losing the arm anytime soon. Oh, we were going hunting tonight. Take some bounty sin to Tucker. Well, not if it's pissing down rain. Nah, man, we need the camp credits. Gotta stock up on supplies. Yeah, okay. I don't want to be out all night, though. Jesus, I gotta get in shape. I'm gonna see if there's anything we can salvage on Leon's bike. No. God damn it. What? Son of a bitch. Guessing that's a fuel line, unless you just piss yourself. It's a fuel pump. Leon. Yeah, shot up my damn fuel pump. Can we get anything off Leon's bike? Nah, it's done. <sighs> Look. Let's just go back to O'Leary Mountain. We'll head out in the morning, find some parts, and come back and get your bike. No, I think I got a better idea. We just get it while we're out here. What? Well, yeah. Crazy Willie's isn't far from here. Let's just head over there. What are you thinking? We were going out hunting tonight anyway. Crazy Willie's as good a place as any. Yeah, okay. Hey, what did Leon give you? A map of some kind. Once we get my bike back, let's head up to the cemetery, look around. Yeah, okay. So tomorrow, get the drugs, take them to Tucker, collect on Leon's bounty. Then I say we head north. You think shit's any different up north? Don't matter, I think it'd do us good. Get the hell away from here. Yeah. Hold on, something's blocking the road. Careful. Saw a setup like this a couple days ago. A bunch of rippers blocked the road with an old truck. Come on, help me move it. Ready? Yep. Push! <laughs> Coming up on the old Nero checkpoint. We're almost there. Shit, how you wanna do this? Blow me your shotgun, I'll walk point. Looks like that checkpoint had him backed up pretty good. 
Yeah, a lot of good it did him. I'd rather be buried back with the goddamn pioneers. Yeah. Shit. Look at them all. Bunch of goddamn dumbasses, the lot of them. What are they thinking? Hey, Mr. Fed, can we sit here and wait till the goddamn horde comes through and just kills us all? Bad way to go out, trapped in a shithole like this. Smell that? Oh, Jesus. There. Come on, let's go. Hey, hold up. How many Molotovs you got left back here? Let's hit it on the way back. Leave it. Yeah. Leave it my ass. Son of a bitch. You're hoping someone's home. <laughs> Sounds like you got your wish. Shotgun. Yeah. Okay. You're going up there again. What are you talking about? Goddamn refugee camp. You only act like this when you think about going up there. Act like what? It's not your fault that she's dead. Drop it. If you'd gotten on that chopper with Sarah, all that would have changed is you'd be dead too. Look, just drop it. You're not getting your Try that service tunnel. See if you can clear us a path from the other side. I got it. Just keep your headlight pointed that way. Oh, 
shit. More freaks! Okay, here we go. Another nest. Oh. Yeah, I smell it. Oh. How many Molotovs you got left? Whoa. You just used the last one. You got any shit to make more? Yeah, yeah. This will just take a sec. That'll do it. Okay, give me a sec. I've been thinking about what you said about riding north. Just saying, you need to get away from here. Clear your head, you know? In the morning, let's turn in the bounties, and we'll hit the road. Hell yeah, brother. Now you're talking. Freak show. Shit. Place is crawling. You just ride on through. You pull as many of them off as you can. And I just, I go in through the back, down that hill, find the garage. Shit. All right, you just give me a few minutes to find the part that I need. You ride back, we ride the hell out. After I kill a few of the bastards. I swear to God, you got a death wish. Like I said, not tonight. How do you stick in something? You little shits. How's it going, brother? You 
still gotta find a way in the Willie's garage. Gotta be a fuel pump inside. Hurry your ass up. I rode past one of those, uh, what the hell do you call them? The, the shit that Rippers put up. Sigils. Yeah. It means they're up here somewhere. That's what I thought. Finally, Jesus. this. Gotta be a fuel pump in here somewhere. Boozer, you there? I found the part. I'm heading out to the highway. Deep pot. Boozer. Booze man. God damn it. Yeah. 
Hang on, booze man. I'm coming. These tacks are dead. Oh, shit. Rippers. Symbols of the lost. Sir, where are you, man? Oh, God damn it, loser, where are you? I hear it. These tats are dead symbols of a dead man. Dead symbols of the lost. Get off me! The bitches, biker man. You must be brought low, biker man. For you are lost, and we are found. Fuck you. Oh! The path, the path. We will show you. You are not one of the found. You are the lost. The path. You are lost. Get low. Get low. Get low. Get low. Get low. Symbols of a dead man! Hey! Over here! Oh, shut the bitches! Get off them! Uh, Ripper assholes, come on! Bruiser, I just want to kill them all. Bruiser, fucking one of them! Oh my god. Oh, shit. Uh, let me help you up. No, 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 no you don't. Uh, get up. Uh, fucking Rippers! We gotta go. It's like. Uh, they were waiting for me or something. Fuck! Uh, I didn't see them, and then, then they were on me. Oh, okay. My arm. Don't look at it. My God, they are. I'm serious. Don't look oh at my it. God. Don't look at it. Get on the bike. Oh, shit. Go, go. Thought we'd never make it. Hey, uh... Why don't you wait out here? Let me make sure it's all clear. Screw that. There's a bunk calling my name. All right. Pretty much like we left it. What? Not like there's much to steal. I'm just gonna reintroduce myself. <laughs> oh. I'm gonna go out, find some shit for your arm. You get my bike. You gonna be okay? Yeah. Good. Yeah. I'll head over to that neuro checkpoint. They gotta uh, have sterile bandages uh, and painkillers. Don't, don't leave my bike there. No, 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 no. I'm gonna be uh, going out on foot while it's still light out. Hey, I've got some ammo if you need it. In the footlocker by the door. Thanks. Hey, don't take my shotgun. Uh, Boozer, I... All right. Thank you. Thanks, brother. Just feel kind of naked without it.
Damn it, Boozer, your arm's not gonna be fine. Son of a bitch. I gotta find something for his arm. Boozer, are you awake? Yeah, Deke. What's up? I just saw someone sneaking around the safe house. What the hell? What's he doing? No idea. I'm gonna follow him. See if there's some more where he came from. Deacon out. Hit! <laughs> 
That's the last of them. Must have followed us here. Sons of bitches. Stay the hell off O'Leary Mountain. Boozer, I found the camp. Just a few drifters looking to move in in our safe house. Like we were seeing before. It's time to start thinking about heading north. Let's get your arm fixed up, and then worry about hitting the road. I'm gonna be heading to my bike, deacon out. This more than you. Freakers. If it's not the freaks, what? it's the goddamn rain. Why is it always raining? Where the hell am I? I gotta be getting close. Get close. Come on, baby. Where the fuck are you? <gasps> this is it. This is where we left it. My bike's gone. Hey, you're from Copeland's camp? Where the hell is my bike? Hey, stop! Why, God damn it! I didn't take your bike, man. I swear. I'm not gonna kill you! Stop running! You gotta ask Copeland. I don't know nothing. Hey! I just want my bike. 
I didn't do nothing. Oh, God damn it. All right, now I'm going to kill you. <sighs> Boozer, you there? Pardon. Yeah, dude. Get your bike. Nope. Copeland's men got to it before I did. I'm heading to his camp. Deacon out. John, is that you? Some son of a bitch stole my bike! I don't know nothing about that. You gotta go talk to a man. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that's where I'm headed. Hey, Manny. Hey, I haven't seen you in a while lately. You've been too busy to notice. Nose down. You work hard, they feed you. Yeah, camper's life. Yeah, camper's life. I read a book once, Zen and the Art of Bike Repair. You ever read it? No, I didn't have a lot of time for books back in the day. Yeah, I ran a shop, farewell. Made all the grease monkeys read it. Being a mechanic requires great peace of mind, it said. Try working on an empty stomach. That'll focus your mind. Man, I'm looking for a bike. Yeah? Oh. Oh, you don't want that one. Why not? It, it just came off the truck. I mean, some dumb son of a bitch left it out in the shit. Rusted up good. It rode hard, too. The fool that rode it didn't know shit about bikes. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah, that's right. Shot the hell this one. I mean, we just partied it out. I mean, it didn't even have a fuel pump. We could have used oh, that. man, fuel pump like this one? O okay. Like this one, Manny. Oh, okay, okay. See, now when I said fool, what I meant was the fools that brought that bike in. See, they didn't tie that shit down properly, so they left it like rattling around back there. Hey, and... Let's talk. Looks like you had some trouble. You got hit hard last night. Ripper's mm -hmm. game. Twice now they've been up here. Some say looking for you and Boozer. Out in the shit, folks say a lot of things. Folks around here take care of their own. They go enough days without food. Well, you see how it is. The lake not holding out? You get a fair amount of trout. The lake's fed by snowmelt. No one left to stock it with fish. They're gonna run out sooner or later. Like everything else. to go hunting out here with the old man. We build deer blinds out here, put down salt licks below us, pick them off clean. Some winners had so much venison we couldn't eat it all. I didn't think that was legal, deer baiting back in the day. My old man had only one law, the United States Constitution. He can only see us now. America, the land of the free. We are that. Saw Leon the other day. Yeah? He was bringing me something. Is that right? Folks here in a lot of pain, Deke. Oh, Leon. Doug said that he took off. No one's seen him. Mm. <laughs> Tell you what. You find his stash. You bring it to me. To me, Deke. You do that, well, we'll see what we can do for you. The bike that your men stole, that your men parted out. Salvage, Deke. <laughs> 
salvage. All right. I'll try to keep that in mind. By the way, nice hat. What? No, this one. Don't you ever die. Now, hold on. Leon wore a hat like this, didn't he? Oh, Cope, I swear to God. Don't. You want to do business in my camp? You start doing some runs for me. Cope. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. I'm here anyway. What do you got? Now, that's more like it. A group of drifters has been harassing my supply runs. They've moved into the radio tower west of O'Leary Mountain. Isn't that your backyard? No, it's not, but uh, I'll take care of them. I thought you might. I just want to say how sorry I am. I, I didn't know, I swear. Do you have any idea how much time I put into that bike? It was a drifter bike, Manny. I know, I know. I I'll make it up to you, I swear. I, I put together a new one. <laughs> you call this piece of shit a bike? I know, it's not. Look, I'll keep an eye out for, for more parts. I'll hook you up, I swear. Okay, what about my custom gas tank, Manny? You know, the one that I got for my dead wife. You gonna keep an eye out for that one, too? Jesus, Deke, I'm sorry. Just get the fuck out of my way. What do you want? Look, Manny, it's done. Yeah, I got some good stuff in stock. Thanks. Jesus, this isn't a goddamn bike. You there? Yeah, Deke. Uh, how you doing? How's the arm? Like I said, I'll be fine. Okay. Uh, I'm still gonna head to that Nero checkpoint, find some uh, sterile bandages, uh, ointment, something. Yeah, sure, whatever. I'm gonna go out. Make sure the mountain's clear. Those are, no, no, those are third degree burns. You stay there, you rest, okay? I'll, I'll be there as soon as I can. Um, I guess, uh, I could, I could use something for the pain. Yeah, I guess, I guess I'll see what I can do. <laughs>
That's it. Yeah, yeah, I guess, I guess I'll see what I can find, I guess. This is it, the near a checkpoint. I gotta find some shit for Boozer's arm. It's not. 
Come on, you son of a bitch, you better start. <sighs> Gotta find some gas. should be it. Yes. Damn it. That's gonna bring them all down on me. Speakers! Where the hell are the speakers? Sterile bandages, sterile bandages. Where the hell would they keep this shit? Yes, sterile bandages. Just what the doctor ordered. Now I just gotta get this back to Boozer. How... Hello. What's this? Nero tank. Ah, uh, some sort of a injector of some kind. Yeah, <sighs> an apple a day. Boozer, you there? Boozer, goddammit, answer me. <sighs> He's not picking up. Where the hell is he?
a storm. So these men, you know them because shut down right with the river. It seems kind of personal. Goddamn right it's personal. They used to be a part of my camp. Seems they didn't like the rules against stealing, raping, murdering. Well, maybe they're like me, just tired of listening to your paranoid truth or bullshit. St. John out. One more thing. When they left, it appears they may have stolen some automatic rifles and a few shotguns. Men coming! Watch yourself. Jesus, Cope, thanks for the heads up. I do what I can. Cope out. Do what you can, son. He just run around! I'm shot! They've been shot! I'll take that. He was here. <laughs> the hell, he was here. <sighs> I lost him.
That's the last of them. Jesus, Cope, how many men have you pissed off? generator, but it's been shot to hell. Okay, that should do it. There we go. Drop it! If you had bullets, I wouldn't be breathing now, would I? Please, mister. I don't shoot women if I have a choice. Do I have a choice? I ain't got nothing. I got nowhere to go! Jesus Christ. All right, let's see if they got an underground bunker around here. What's this? A map? Notes? Yeah, okay. Crafting. Hello. Nick, you there? It's probably nothing. It sounded like bike engines. Riding somewhere on the mountain. I just finished clearing the radio tower for Copeland. I'm, I'm gonna climb the tower, see if I can see anything. Close my eyes for a bit. I was ready to go back at it. <clears throat> sound like like yourself it's, uh, it's nothing you know I just let this drifter get the drop on me lucky for me she was uh, out of ammo you let her go didn't you okay yeah fuck yes yes I let her go one of these days Dave that code of yours it's gonna get you killed yeah well something's gonna do it right does it matter what Deacon out Jesus, what a climb. All right, let's see what the hell Boozer's talking about. We're right. Someone's on the mountain. I see smoke from their campfire. Oh, son of a bitch. I knew I heard something. Where are they? I'm gonna head out there. No, God damn it, Boozer. Gotta get your arm healed up so we can ride the hell out of here. I'll take care of him. Try to stay awake in case they head your way. Deacon out. Oh, Jesus. I gotta get in shape. Almost there. Yeah, come on, keep going. Almost there. Oh. 
Oh, shit's killing me. St. John to Copeland's camp. It's done. The radio tower's locked down, and I've restored your radio uplink. Copy that. You may not see the value of St. John, but Radio Free Oregon is the only thing keeping us from turning into savages. <laughs> no, Cope, the only thing keeping us from turning into savages is about nine square meals. Try going hungry for three days. There's no such thing as a starving patriot. Well, sir, I hope to God you're Radio Free Oregon. Jesus, what have I done? This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Who remembers the skid rows of this great country? People living on the streets in boxes and tents because they couldn't afford the American dream. Hey, Boozer. I, uh... Found some shit for your arm. Boozer? Oh, shit. Boozer! Hey! Whoa, ah! um, hurry! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, shit! Oh, shit, Deke. Could have blown your goddamn head off. Look, uh, let, me, let me see that arm, huh? No, no, I got Come this. Come on, let me see that look, arm. I got oh, it! All right! Deke. Thanks, brother. Look, I'll, I'll be better, okay? I'm gonna be fine. Doesn't look too bad. Booze man, you awake? I'm uh, heading to that camp you spotted north of the mountain. Uh, I heard gunshots. Uh, it might be an ambush camp. Find out when I get there. Dig it out!
Whose man? You were right. They set up along the railroad tracks. Kill every one of the sons of bitches. That was kind of the plan. Deacon out. Know something's out here. Yeah. Huh? What? Who's out there? <laughs> Someone's here. She's bleeding out. What the hell? You hear that? What? Something. <laughs> Use this again. That'll do it. Murdering drifters. Oh, God damn it. No, no, no. What are you waiting to jump me? Huh? Something's here. What you find? Who's out there? Here you are. I've 
gotcha. So anything. Get more on ammo. What the hell are you doing? Ah, that's the last of them. Stay the hell off O'Leary Mountain. Use this. Boozer, it's done. Squatter camp. They won't be doing any more killing on O'Leary Mountain. Good. Deke. I should have been there. To help, I mean, I... Shit. <sighs> Just... Rest up, booze man. Rest up. We're riding north as soon as your arm heals. You got that? Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Booze are out. Okay. Okay. You heading out? Yeah, I'm gonna ride up to the cemetery and see if I can find Leon's stash. Sorry. What was that? Rest up, Boozer. We're heading north as soon as you can ride. North. Yeah. Deke, you there? D did you say you were heading north? Who's man? No. You know, I wouldn't ride north without you. Yeah, yeah, I know. I just kind of out of it. Well, third degree burns will do that to you. <laughs> yeah. So, take care, Alvarez, you know. Deke, it means a lot to me. I'll take care of her, Boozer. Just get some rest. Deacon out. Sick and tired of drifters coming in my camp, killing folk like we were out in the shit. What's going on, Cope? A man come in, drug out of his mind, shot the place up, then he just took off. Then he said his bike's got a red tank on it, and he was wearing some kind of motocross helmet, silver. Okay, if I go now, I might be able to catch up to him. I want him alive, Deke. Alive? Alive. You catch this man, then radio me. Fetch him and hang the bastard right from that land. It's time we start showing these drifter sons of bitches that we have law and order in this camp. No offense meant to yourself. I'm taken. I'll find him. Hey, Dean, you there? I was thinking about heading down to that logging camp and out those nests. I see more freaks up here. Boozer, no, no, you're gonna get yourself killed. Uh, you gotta wait till your whole brother. Uh, I'm over here anyway, so I'll take care of the mess, okay? Yeah, okay. Thanks, Dave. Dave, wait till tonight. There'll be fewer freaks inside those nests. Or take them out while it's still light out. Buy more of them, but then they'll be a strong.
Another bounty. Weeping Angel. This has got to be it. Now, where'd you hide the stash, Leon? What do we got? Huh, maybe in one of these. Man, are you listening? Uh, no, you're not gonna believe this. I just saw a goddamn chopper. A chopper? What, what are you talking about? A near a chopper! It just buzzed right over me and acted like I wasn't even there. Wait, all this time and a fed chopper shows up out of nowhere? Yeah, I'm gonna chase them down and I'm, uh, uh, I'm gonna see what the hell they're doing. Hey, Deke. Be careful. Don't get too close till you know what the hell they're doing. Don't do anything stupid. Hell no, I'm not gonna do anything stupid. Hmm. That's interesting. Come on, come on, come on. this. Hold on, hold on, they're slowing down. Looks like they're stopping.
starting to rain. I bring the freaks in. Shit. Field note two zero zero zero. After tracking a large moving group, estimated size of five to six hundred, we have confirmed the subject's hibernation location at. Hey, Doc, I see Site-23 on the roster for tomorrow. That us? No, that's O'Brien. Got it. Oh, shit, where was I? We have confirmed the subject's hibernation location at the High Desert Grotto, now designated Site-15. Trampling of grasses and plants at the entrance, and the presence of footprints, see attached photos, indicate the site has been used for some time. Must be nice and cozy in there. According to the motion sensor, planted by Lieutenant O'Brien, Approximately 447 subjects have entered the cave this morning. Recommend sending a follow-up team sometime after 1900 hours to assess the cave's interior and further assess conditions. Note to Dr. Anderson. Your theory about the subjects devolving to a primitive state of nocturnal behavior is seeming more appealing all the time. End report. Not going inside. Fucking Did O'Brien. Did you hear me? Over He's 400 no subjects. And these aren't O'Brien just your regular run-of-the-mill freaks. These are stage three. No, 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 and I asked if you were going kidding. in. Didn't say I was. These subjects are not sleeping. They're hibernating. Ever woken up a hibernating bear? No. <sighs> Ever woken up a hibernating freak? Yeah, actually. I was one of the survivors at the White King mine. Jesus. Someone tear my buddy apart like he was peeling a banana. These suits protect you from a lot of shit. But not them. Shit, Corporal. Jesus, I'm... I'm sorry. That mission was foobar from the start. Which is why we are not going inside there. I think if I sealed up this cave, we'd, I don't know, knock down their population. I don't know, Corporal. A lot of caves out here. Come on, let's get out of here. Secret caves. Yeah, right, like anyone gives a damn. Stay low, stay low. Boozer, you there? Booze man, come back. Deke, hey, I'm here. Give me Rhoda a farewell. The Nero guy, the soldier, whatever the hell he was. 
Sarah. What, what are you? He had an ID badge. What was the name? Oh, God, O'Brien. Oh, wouldn't shut up about it. All the way out to Three Finger Jack. He's alive, Boozer. He's alive. What are you talking about? We were there. The whole camp was wiped out. No, I know that, but I heard... Okay, look. I went into their LZ, and they... Wait, wait. You, you went into their LZ? What the... Just listen to me. I heard all of the radio. They were talking about a man named O'Brien. Eek. Don't... Not, Boozer. I'm not. I'm just... Hey, uh, get some sleep. Deacon out. Deacon, you there? I got bored. Figured I'd see if I remembered how to make anything. Stop by when you can, if you like. Oh, Boozer, that's amazing. Uh, yeah, I do need some. Deacon out. Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. The start of this living hell that is now our life came as a surprise to no one who was listening to me when shit went down. And I was one of the few. Most who spoke out against the feds, well, things didn't go so great for them. The cemeteries are filled with martyrs. Those who sought to call out the bullshit, the lies when they saw it. I know. I started Radio Free Oregon in the last weeks before the feds fell. Broadcast from an unmarked van, moving from town to town. In the days before the roads came choked with cars and the bridges destroyed, trying in vain to stop the freaks. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Who's that? Fuel can. Oh, here we go. That should be it. I gotta 
clear them out. Ooh, I gotta make it safer to ride through here. Okay, here we go. Who's that? More bounties. Better than nothing. This is Radio Free Oregon. The truth shall set you free. Black helicopters have been spotted in the skies. You might have seen them. Heard them. Thought you were losing your mind. But you're not. They're real. And they're proof that I was right. We thought Nero died out here like the rest of them. Caving under their own stupidity. But no. Like I said, they've been lying and wait all this time till they can crawl up out of their holes and reclaim this world. But it ain't happening. Not on my watch. And don't go running towards them thinking they're gonna save your ass. Any man wearing a uniform worth a damn died more than two years ago. These men, they'll shoot you on sight. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Jesus, Cope, they're not trying to reclaim shit! You don't have a damn clue what you're talking about. Well, except, uh... Yeah. <laughs> No, no, no.
That asshole, I guess you won't be ambushing anyone else today. Doesn't look too bad. Uh, that'll hold. Get away with it. You're crossing the road. Two years ago, you would have gone splat. Infestation zone. Sure smells like it. <clears throat> gotta burn it down. I gotta clear them out. I guess I'll come back here and finish burning this infestation zone later. Tucker, Alki. Over at the dig site. Well, which one, goddammit? The north one. Back there. If anybody touches this bike or anything on it, I break your fingers. Whatever, man. Jesus. Help you? What's up? I keep telling you, everywhere you look, it's all one giant lava field. 25 feet, solid rock. It'll take jackhammers to... I don't need a lecture, goddammit. I get it. No, you don't. But 
These people are hungry. Even if they had all their strength. It'll take them months to finish this job with picks and shovels. I don't give a shit! We're all hungry, Al. But this job's gotta get done whether it takes all goddamn year. It's not like we got somewhere else to be now, do we? Wait. Not finished. We'll make it quick, will you, Al? I got things to do. Rippers. This morning, one of my men spotted a large group of them coming over the pass. And no one stopped them? How the f... Tucker, you know we're already spread thin. Are, are they headed north? Al, are they headed towards us? Yes or no? I... I don't know. Maybe he knows. <laughs> what the fuck are you oh. up to now, huh? What's this about, huh? Damn it, Al Kai. It's not his job to know. It's your goddamn job to know. I can't be at two places at one time. You either want me here, running your dig, or you want me out there in the shit, chasing the rippers. Go check the store, see how much ammo we got left. I'll tell Wheeler to watch the dig. What are you looking at? Oh, I don't know, I'm just waiting for you to smarten the fuck up. Don't! Did you track down Leon? Good thing someone around here knows how to make things happen. Ride with me. How long has it been since you found someone, brought him in? The kind of people left out in the shit aren't the kind of people you want me bringing in. We lost two more to the fever. It's not my problem. You want our food? I'm making it your problem. I told you we'll do runs for you, but we're not joining your goddamn camp. Remind me again, my old woman's memory. Why is that? <laughs> because it's a waste of time, Tuck. <laughs> well, aren't you the optimist? Where's Boozer? He said he was gonna head over to Copeland's camp, see about trading for some fish. You're not in bed with Cope now, are you? His camp near yours? It's not closer or further. Look, I'm not Boozer's old lady. He goes where he wants. <laughs> Jesus. You keep this shit burning all day and night. Got a lot of freak corpses piling up out here. With men like you doing your jobs. So damn right we keep it burning. Try using more gasoline. It burns faster, less fumes. Like we got so much to spare? When it's all gone, what are you going to put in that bike of yours, spit and sweat? Now what the hell is going on here? The count's off. Storage is missing food and some ammo. Jesus. Who was on watch last night? Wheeler. Tonight, double the watch. This shit's starting to piss me off. You got it. Trouble in paradise? It's like I was saying. Camp's like a prison. Bunch of goddamn lazy liars, thieves, rapists, and murderers. You know why that is? No idea. Because that's who we are. The freak show. Only folks survived were those mean enough, nasty enough to out-freak the freaks. The rest are here. Hoping I feed them, protect them, keep them nice and cozy and warm, so they can sit on their asses and watch the world end. You! Get your ass back to work! Don't make me go get Cyrus! Lazy sons of bitches can screw around all they like on their time. Daytime is my time. Running this camp is no different than running a prison. I can't remember what you said. You were, you were what? You were a warden or something? <laughs> Nothing so high and mighty. I was matron of the women's ward. You look like the sort who might have spent some time in the pen, back in the day. You ever do time? I had my share of trouble, but I never landed in K-State. I got a job for you. Larson was on a run yesterday. Passed through Marion Fork, said he saw someone. Young woman, would like, but he only caught a glance. He stopped to look around, but he never found her. Is he sure? Larson's been doing this long as you. He knows a person from a freak. But you got a knack for this. You head over there and find her before the freaks do. I'll see what I can do. But look, talk, I want the rest of my credits for Leon. You bring me warm bodies, I'll give you all the credits you can spend. I gotta go find Wheeler. 
Someone's looking at a night in the shack. Alcott. What do you want, Drifter? What's your problem? Hmm? One of my men, a escaped to Ripper Camp, over by Iron Butte. Got tortured, like they always do. But this time, they kept asking me if you knew about it. Two bikers, two men, asking me if you'd ever seen them or heard of them. A lot of bikes around here. What's it, what's it got to do with me? The Ripper called them mongrels. How many drifters still flying colors around here? As if that shit matters. If you ask me, you got a price on your head. How's it feel to be on the other side? I don't want you just show me what you got because I don't have time for your bullshit. Whatever you say, Deke. Can I get anything else for you? What else can I do for you? Find me if you need anything else. <laughs> 